call the meeting to order. We do have a quorum. I would take a um, motion to approve the agenda amendment. So moved. There's a motion. I'll second that motion. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Motion will carry. Rich Brown. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Um, not a lot to discuss this morning uh, other than the snow event we had. I think plows ran both Friday and Saturday. So um, it is what it is. Hopefully things are getting cleared up today. I don't know if you guys had any phone calls or anything. Got a few calls on mailboxes, but you're typical. It was a wet snow, so it probably took a couple. But uh, I can't think of much to discuss until we have our uh, budget meeting next week. So if you guys got any questions? Not that I can think of. No, I didn't hear any complaints or nothing. And it was kind of a pain in the butt snow, but <laughs> yeah. can help our gravel, our rock situation, I'm sure. So. Well, and we tried to we tried to keep everything groomed up before the event to eliminate any high points getting plowed off, but you just never know with the wet, heavy snow. It's I'm sure we'll see some. Yep. Okay. I'll All right, we'll else. stick around here. So Okay, thanks, Rich. Uh, drainage. There's some, I see uh, threatening now is on there, so she might be, and I forgot to write that on, but it's threatening. Okay. That's all right. Uh, so, yeah, Mark, I know I got called. Yep. And uh, Tom Lyle said you had got called, too, about trees at his property. Yep. Um, I went out there and looked at it. If they clean that right away, they're going to clear out half of his grove, yep. if not all of it. Mm -hmm. um, he keeps it clean. It's not in basing into the the slopes of the ditch. There's no tile underneath there where he's plugging tile. Um, I, I don't see an issue with just leaving it. I told him, and I told him as long as he keeps it cleaned up the way it is, which looks like he does take a very good job, you know, yep. keeping that clean, that it should be fine. We should, they should be able to clean it from the other side because they got some work to do over there anyways, right. the way it looks. So. Have yeah. you consulted with John? I did. Okay. I talked, yeah. I got a hold of John on Thursday and uh, I thought last night before I left, I thought that John said they probably should be able to work around that area and you shouldn't have to take them out. That's the last I'd gotten from John. Um, okay. And I thought John was going to get in touch with Troy and, and, and the, the contractor guys doing the ditch cleaning. So, okay. um, Would you have with, issues with anybody else though? Well, there's nobody else that's going to have a house sit right on the drainage ditch. Yeah. You yeah. know, okay. I hope. Yeah. Is um, right because this is the right. precedence, yes, and that's what John said. As long as we are consistent about what we do here, we'll be okay. Um, and they should have been at owner meetings, correct? Everybody got the notice on this, that's why you know. Um, but and I, I'd have talked to John, but Tom was saying too that the plan or the um. Is the plan of the survey on that? Yep. Was there anything mentioned about cleaning trees at his? Not specifically his place, from what I can see. Um, his you know, picture of his is in there. Um, I didn't. There's his place. So there's the work areas and the, you know, the, the 100 foot workway, not easement. It's an 80 foot easement according to the plan right. that we have that we can go in and utilize for work. Not a hundred foot. A hundred foot is just a work area. You got a little extra beyond that. But mm -hmm. and then so technically the corner of his house is in it then. Yes. See, and that's another mm -hmm. reason where stuff got done years ago where freaking zoning would have been great because mm -hmm. then you knew you could not <laughs> build that close to a drainage ditch. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But nobody knew that. Years ago it just got done, just like a lot of things just get done. And so well, then they, they do receive benefit then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he knows he's going to end up paying for a portion of that cleaning. And, you know, we talked about that too. I said, yeah, you don't farm, you don't have any tile that hooks into it, but your property drains into it. So, unfortunately, you know, you still got to pay your portion. But right. we can try to get a hold of John, I suppose, and see what he's what the Right. Because um, I know you had talked with Jacob, I think. I guess oh. Tom might want to talk because he's getting in. <sighs> 
is Tom on there? He's getting connected, Morning. it looks like. Just came online. No audio yet. But, and then we also talked about further down to the east, southeast of his house there, that he said he was going to clean out a bunch of that because it was just some, yeah, kind of scrub brush, yes. little volunteer stuff coming in there. He's got, he's got a path through there, okay. but he was going to clean more of that out so it would give. Well, and would it be beneficial for the people that are there now to just do it since they're already there? Would it be cheaper because... The, the district's paying for it right so he'd just be paying a percentage instead of the whole thing right yeah i guess that would be up to him if he wanted yeah. to let him in um tom Lauer, or is you, that part of it you on the phone it's part of the is yeah that part of what was getting clean i would say yes it is it's yeah. between his house and his mother's house yeah. maybe it's a different town or try Brittany. how about Brittany? Brittany Lau, can you hear us are you on the phone just to unmute. Yep, I'm here. Um, can you guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Okay. Um, I know Tom. I do, Go ahead. Oh, I know Tom had spoke with um, Jacob, who I believe is the engineer, right? Yeah. Um, and he spoke to him Friday afternoon, and what we were told is that they're still going to clear 40 feet, if I'm not mistaken, um, which... You know, I mean, it still takes our our main shade trees and a large portion of our grove. So I don't know if you guys have spoken to him since Tom has. Um, I haven't, okay. Brittany. I did, I did speak to Jonathan, which is another one of the engineers with the company, on Thursday there after I talked with Tom that day. And, and like I say, I, I left for the weekend, but I understood at that time they weren't going to take him. So... We need to get, we probably should give him a call here this morning and see what's going on. Yes, um, yeah, because I do know that um, he said that one of his guys would be out today to survey and mark which trees will go. So I try and be home as much as I can to try to, you know, actually see firsthand what, um, what their plan is. And I guess, you know, Tom and I've talked extensively about it and our conf again our confusion is is um, you know are they going to come take all of our trees and then realize down the road that there really is no repair that needs to be done on our side so I guess that's maybe where our confusion is is you know do they really need you know our side since there are no tiles to repair is their future I was trying to read that the full engineer plan and and comprehend and understand what you know the proposed work plan is and it was fairly vague but maybe you guys can clarify more again i need to talk to jonathan again but we just talked i said i, did, I didn't even know if they didn't even do any dipping them you know there they're going to do a little bit in there so that any spoils we are understandable on the opposite side of the ditch of your property uh -huh. you know and they we just need to call john or jacob again here this morning see if we can get a hold of them did they give you a time when they're going to be out there this morning they did not, no. Because after the meeting, I know if they're going to be there, one of us could probably stop out and talk with them, too. I, I know I could if you're not. Yeah. I'd go out there. If, I know you Tom's phone number, too. If you want, um, I can certainly give you a call when I find out they're coming, if you guys are going to be around. We'll, we'll give them a call here, maybe, before we before we adjourn. Yep. Okay. And just talk with you who's going to be out there or what time they'll be there. And sure. I've got a meeting at 11. Um, so if I can't go, then Mark will run out there and just meet with them too. So. Yep. Yeah, that would that would be great. I would sure appreciate that. Okay. Sounds right. good. Thanks, Brian. Thank yep. you. But yeah, like I say, I I don't know. It's kind of a kind of a case by case thing there, I guess. But uh, it is, and it is. Like they say, we need to be consistent in whatever we decide to do. Mm -hmm. We can't do one, one, and then do something right. different in somebody else's place. And, right. Well, mm -hmm. when it comes to an acreage owner like that, yeah. it's and easements are our easements. I mean, that's right. And that's why you have landowner meetings. Yeah, yeah. But like I say, it's when you're not a farmer, you're not too worried about 
There's a lot of people that aren't. <laughs> you know, I mean, a lot of the landowners apparently weren't too concerned. Right. Yeah. They didn't come into the meeting. I mean, and that's the right. sad part about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because so. we spend a lot of money and time sending out notices yeah. and emails. Right. Yep. Yeah. And they pay for it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, no, we'll have to just get hold of Jonathan or Jacob. You know, Jacob see what towards, be there. towards the end of the meeting, so there's a call yeah. Jonathan to see what's going on. Uh, drainage claims. I did see some stamp warrants, right? Yeah. Thousand fifty or something. Like yeah. That. We'll make a motion to approve the drainage claims. If there's a motion to approve drainage claims, I'll second that motion. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed. Motion to carry. Uh, no regular claims this week. Nope. Any reports? Yep. Look at court and meet. Report report. Oh. Twenty thousand, that's a large number. Court's back in session, so yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. right. They're in there collecting, apparently, which is yeah. right. So that's a start. Take a motion to approve the reports from the uh, clerk of court and auditor. So moved. All right, I'll second that motion. Any other discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion will carry. Speed it up that much yet. Yeah. <laughs> Already going fast. Yeah. Okay. okay. Payroll eligibility or salary changes? Nope. Liquor license? Nope. Um, ordinance 2021 .1 .25. Ordinance designing certain areas of Worth County, Iowa's urban revitalization areas, our second reading. Let me read again. You got till nine. <laughs> <laughs> Might take that long. <laughs> All right. Uh, this ordinance, purpose and intent, chapter 404 of the Code of Iowa provides that a city or county may designate areas as urban revitalization areas eligible for property tax exemptions and authorize the cities to issue revenue bonds for improvements made within those revitalization areas. On October 26, 2020, the Board of Supervisors of Worth County adopted a resolution finding that the rehabilitation and redevelopment of certain areas of Worth County would be desirable, and that said area qualifies under Section 404.1 of the Code of Iowa for designation as a revitalization area. The Worth County Board of Supervisors has deemed it appropriate to utilize the incentives of the Revitalization Act contained in Chapter 404 of the Code of Iowa to promote rehabilitation and redevelopment as well as new development. The Worth County Board of Supervisors has compiled or complied with all the provisions of Chapter 404 of the Code of Iowa relating to the designation of certain areas of the counties as revitalization areas and has waived the requirement of notification of tenants as there is no reliable mailing list and has heretofore adopted a revitalization plan covering specific areas of Worth County as described below. Uh, now, now therefore be it ordained by the Board of Supervisors of Worth County, Iowa as follows. Description, the following parcels as identified in the record books of the Worth County Courthouse Office of the County Auditor are hereby designated as the Worth County Logistics Park Urban Revitalization Area. Uh, one parcel belonging to Sukup Manufacturing Company um, one parcel belonging to the Manly Logistics Park, and the other three parcels belonging to the Halfman family. Uh, benefits of this revitalization shall be only to the extent provided by the revitalization plan and heretofore adopted by the Worth County Board of Supervisors that any person, firm, corporation, or other entity seeking to utilize the benefits of revitalization shall comply with them the requirements set forth and that the revitalization plan is hereby adopted. Uh, the repealer, all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith be at the same and hereby repealed at the extent of such conflict. 
severability. If any section, provision, or part of this ordinance shall be adjudged invalid or unconstitutional, such adjunction shall not affect the validity of the ordinance as a whole or any section, provision, or part thereof not adjudged invalid or unconstitutional. Uh, effective date. This ordinance shall be in full force and effect from the, and after its publication, approval and passage as provided by law. That is our second reading. Of ordinance 2021.01.25. All right, we'll have our third reading next week. Let's see, I can't remember if we did. Did we have to motion or make a motion to the reading? Assuming so. Carry to consider the second reading. So, I mean, your motion to carry is to the third reading now? No, this is the second. Okay. Last one was the first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, we're good? Yep, we're good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, road vacation. Still waiting on that one. Uh, Winworth Betco. Yes, um, Good morning. Good morning, Melissa. I don't have anything new since Wednesday's report, so. All righty, stick around. We're going to get our plat yeah. done finally so you can sell some lots for us. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I actually have to take off in about 10 minutes. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Jason Petersburg, good morning. Morning. We'll give you a quick update, I guess, as far as where we're at with the improvements. All work has been completed, as you're aware. The punch list is complete with the exception of some touch-up seating that they're gonna do in the spring. So our plan is to proceed with the final pay estimate um, on that, get the project closed out and withhold enough retainage to assure that the seating work is addressed in the spring and then we'll finish paying at that time. Utilities, um, electrics in, gas is in. I have not heard out of WCTA if they've completed their install or not. I'll touch base with them just to see. Um, street lighting. We've got a package pulled together. We're gonna to get quotes on that so we can get the lights put in when they can trench it in the spring. And then um, rate study is the other item that we've been discussing. I've got a proposal pulled together. We'll get that over to you. Look at the rates for the entire area, meet with the existing users and get a new rate structure put in place for you. That's what I have for an update. Sounds like a good plan to me. Um, when we do that, we just can do some sort of a meeting with the the, the other owners and let, because we have to get come and go up on the proper scale, right? Yep. I think they need notification to no, for the change so. ahead yep. of time. Yeah. Um, or at least that's what I, we did last time. Right. I'm assuming what we probably do is meet with them, let them be aware because they Kevin uh, Pesnick out there the manager he's aware of it he, we've talked about it before um, but I think we meet with them let them know what's going on then we could still give them a formal notice of it'll take effect this day basically new water rates will take effect whatever day we decide so I guess that would probably be the mo the easiest way sound good to you Jason good yeah hey AJ oh. what question yeah about stop signs out there on coming off of Wheelerwood Court and going on to Wheelerwood. I just saw that the other day, Dan. I'm glad you brought it up. I forgot about it. There's no stop signs on our new road, and we probably should have them. Just because people are driving through there. All right. Yeah, I think you got to run that. I've seen that run through the board meeting before. Yep. Did we? Have, we approved. Uh, Rich, you still on there? Yep, I'm here. I'm here. Um, Did we have we approved obviously the name of the road and approved those signs. Did we approve stop signs at the same time or were we waiting until? You know, I should, I, I don't recall. I mean, I'll, I'll double check on some things. Um, but if not, we can resolute something here. I, yeah, Jackie, maybe. there would have been a resolution. Is there, do you have that, a copy of that somewhere? Resolution for. We would have had to resolute stop signs for that. Yeah, I know. Street. The road or oh. I don't think it's in there. But it uh, the same time. Uh, just going off of memory here. But. I'll do some well, digging around. 
Okay. Yeah, do some checking. If not, let's – You know, get like I know we discussed it, and I knew we were going to need them, I guess. I don't know whether we – for the time being, if we have to, we can get some temporary ones put up. Okay. Or, you know, the other thing is, is um, how uh, – and, and this probably is going way off track, and we can talk about it later, but – Snow plowing snow right now is it something you want done or do we need to have it done or just on an as needed basis? I would do it. Mm -hmm. we've, we've either got to do it or we don't do it. True. So I, I would just run through there. Run through there. It doesn't have to be the prettiest thing in the world, and obviously winter's already over half over. So um, I would just recommend running through it. But those we get places we're going to want to salt and sand or whatever just because somebody peels through there and has an accident then we're available. Well, so. well and that's the other thing. What about the speed limit through there? And we'll need speed limit signs, yeah. We'll have to figure that out. So we can make that all part of If we haven't done a stop sign resolution and stuff, we can make We can make it on one. one. Yep. I don't know that speed limit will be more than, well, we won't go more than 25. Probably right. Limit, I mean, it. Um, one thing, center. yeah, the one thing we'll need too is if we're going to plow through there, we may need something on the plow truck. They make these curb stops for the plows because I don't want to be starting to. If we got us, if we got our front plow on there and it doesn't have some sort of a a, a rounded edge on it, we'll cut that curb up by accident if it's trying to sneak through there. Okay. So. Well, we're going to be needing it. So. Yep. It's a small thing. We can probably either make something or or whatever. But yeah. I'll look into that. I'll see if we did a resolution. I should have had something in my notes if we did. If not, we'll see if we can get something put together. Uh, for now, should we have barricades up so people can't drive through there? Um, that's up to you for now. I mean, we can. I can get guys. We've got temporary stop signs. We can put them up now. I just do some temporaries for now. Okay. And then oh, we're going to have that. They'll be temporary. They'll be on a temporary base up until spring anyway. Now we probably won't be able to put anything in, but... I'll get the guys to put two of them up here yeah. today or tomorrow. Oh, that'd be great. And then we'll try to resolute it next week. Okay. If we have it already. Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay. Anything else, Jason? Or are you just waiting for the, the rest of the good stuff? I'm just sticking around for the rest of it. All right. Uh, we'll give it a few more minutes. Um, People service, Chris on there? Or? I don't think so. I just got left on there. We didn't have any reports. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, did you print off of the developer signature page? I brought the, mm -hmm. the first three and I didn't print that off. If, if you don't have a copy, maybe you could go up and print that. Which, you do have the final plan. Oh, good. Which one? Uh, it's the page with, it says developer, it be page number four of the PDF I sent you. Or I, oops. Because I see Jake signed his, right? Yep. I got it. Thank you. Before you sign yours, I'd like to have a motion and second authorizing you to sign on behalf of the board. As the developer. As the, the developer. Okay. Sounds good to me. Well, Jackie's working on that. Joel? Yeah. Spectrometry. So I sent you guys a copy. There's a, there's a new proposal. So we did um, pre-project agreement with spectrometry uh, back in 2018. So that would have been for flight 2019, flight 2022, and then flight 2026, I think, is in there. Um, pictometry came back to me and said they would, right now we're flying urban areas in three inch and we're flying rural nine inch. And they came back to me, they're kind of getting away from the whole nine inch, uh, uh, technology. So they would like to fly the, the, uh, rural areas six inch. Uh, it, it is an added expense, uh, not much, but it is an added expense, but we would get better, uh, better photography in those rural areas. And, you know, I, I think it's a good idea just because in 2013, when we had the aerial photography taken, that showed all the tile lines, you know, a little bit better resolution. I mean, everybody used those tile lines. Uh, when they, were really they were really good. Yeah. And I think a little bit more accuracy or resolution would be probably a better thing. Sure. Uh, 
they will fly again next year. So? They'll fly next year. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Spring of next year. And I think we're looking at, so currently if we flew next year, that would be uh, 79, seven. Okay. And the projected right now, if we fly with the six inch, we'd be at 84, five. $5,000. So five, 5,000. So it, it's a, you know, it's a major portion of the County. It's, it's so I just kind of brought up to you guys, whether you thought yes, no, it's, it's kind of up to you. And if you want some more information, I certainly can get it to you. But if we say no, then we just go ahead with the. They're still, they're, they're, they're still, still going to fly. They're still going to fly and do nine inch then, even though they want to get out of it. Yeah. Really. I mean, but it's an extra flight for them too. So it's it's because they got to come in with. So it'd be more expensive for them to do nine inch. So why don't you tell them just put, do six inch for that, and it'll save them. All night. I you know I I've been I, I've been in discussions with these guys <laughs> for a while. I guess. It kind of makes sense to me is if they're gonna charge us more, but if it saves them a flight, if we just leave it alone and everybody else is doing different, it'd make more sense for them to just throw us in the loop. It does, but then with the extra resolution, it's more processing time, and that's what they're charging us for is more processing time. Are they? Yeah. Re resolution would be nice. We catch a lot of stuff, so it does help the change finder product. Product. Yeah, it does. Um, so the better resolution in those areas, then the better the change finder can distinguish between new construction or you know stuff that's been done out there. So. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> well, why don't you have them give us credit for the one less flight? That's what yeah. AJ is working on. That, yeah. Yeah. No, I had to say he was looking for a complete, <laughs> yeah. complete watch. It doesn't sound like this, they'll do that. This proposal, we, we whittled this down quite a bit, and this does take into that. <clears throat> so. oh, okay. Your building permits, and then you wouldn't need that. Right. right. Well, we already went down that road once. Yeah. Know that, so. By code, we can't, for Ag Lion, we can't require building permits. And this is a multi-departmental use product. I mean, you know, right. engineers use it, sheriff's office uses it, assessors use it. Um, you know, it, it's. I think they've done a good job for several years. We don't have to fly again if we don't want to. It's not like we're locked into these flights. Right. But we did. <coughs> excuse me. We did lock in the prices on them. Okay. <coughs> so Excuse this, me. This is just a budget item for you, then, obviously. It is, yeah. Yeah, you know, we need to <coughs> improve. It's going to be built in. We approve it with the budget or without, and then going forward. But, yeah. Correct. All this is just an informational meeting for yeah. you guys. Yeah. Well, a lot of people do use it, like you say. You know, I mean, it's we set out in the field doing tiling and popped up the maps, and it's it pretty helps. accurate. Yeah. 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 Like I said, it is a heavy use product yeah. for the county. Yeah. Okay. Well, do what you gotta do, I guess. All right. Hey, Jay, I found a, a draft. I, I found a draft resolution for stop signs there, but I don't know if I've ever gotten one signed. So I don't know if we ever actually discussed it. I had one created a while ago, but it had no dates on it. Okay. Well, so, tune it I'm looking through my emails that I would have sent to Jackie if we needed to get down there, and I just haven't found one. So maybe we had one set and ready to go and never did it. I think we were waiting until we actually got it closer done. to done. That might be it, but I do have the resolution and I'll send it to her. But if we want to. Yeah, can you tune that up and get the speed limit signs put in there as well? I can probably just do two separate ones because they're going to reference two sections of the code probably. So, but yeah. Oh, okay, whatever. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Yep. Okay. It is nine o'clock. Yep. And Jeff. Our county attorney's here to help us with our plat dedication for our development. You got a blue pen? This one is blue, yes. All right. So, I've got first is a signature page of the developer to dedication of plat for top of Iowa, second edition, Worth County. Uh, basically, this is stating that uh, Iowa or uh, Worth County is the developers of this. Um, on this day, 18th day of January 2021, before me, the undersigned, a notary in public in the state of Iowa, personally appeared to be known as the, to be the identical person named and who executed the foregoing instrument and acknowledged what they executed, the same as their voluntary act and deed. Basically, I need a motion to approve um, Aaron Stone as the chairperson of the board to sign as the developer for this. Is this a resolution that's on the agenda? Or no. Is this so is this the proper steps, not the resolution first and then this? this yeah, this is the okay. 
Just in order, just, in order to have the, the <clears throat> dedication okay. be complete, we need the signature. And so I will make a motion to have AJ sign this. Okay, there's a motion, and I will second that motion. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? All right, motion will carry. You need to borrow your pen, please. Sure. Okay. Now I am approved to sign the resolution uh, 2021.01.18 Worth County, Iowa approval of final <coughs> plat for top of Iowa's second edition in Worth County, Iowa. And at this point, the board has been presented with the dedication of plat by Worth County as the developer and attached to it is the certificate of the county treasurer stating that there are no taxes due on the property. It looks like Jackie has the final plat and I have the attorney's title of opinion showing that the developer does own all of the land in it. I think at this point, uh, I, I don't know if you've had any conversation with uh, our engineer about reviewing the plant uh, or if he's been kind of involved throughout the process. Yeah, Jason has and, and you Jason, you can speak up to this too. I know nothing changed from the preliminary plant to this plant, correct? Correct. And I talked to Rich about that portion of the ordinance as well this morning if he wants to weigh in. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, with you guys having a professional engineer on. Jack, no honesty. <laughs> oh, sorry, um, I'll lie a little bit then. I'm sure <laughs> you guys hired a professional engineer to do the work and to develop it. So really, you know, as far as me being involved, yes, I've, re I've looked at things as they come through, but you know, a lot of uh, developers and a lot of consultants are going to use SUDAS as a, as a main base for a lot of design. I don't know, Jason, if that's what you guys used a lot of, but the standards okay. are going to be pretty parallel to any other standard the DOT has or, or SUDAS is going to come in with. And just looking at the general basics of what's there, I don't see an issue with anything that's there that's going to cause a problem. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whether Perfect. I need to sign off on it or not, I guess the developer, you guys are the developer, you hired an engineer, they can sign off on it and I don't need to be involved. There, there isn't a place in the, um, in the Worth County Code where you actually have to sign off. It just talks about the uh, plant review department reviewing it and making right. sure that it meets the requirements. So I think if you can report that the requirements have been met, and that you're comfortable with them approving and signing the resolution, I think we're good. Yeah, that's fine. I think there was, um, read the plot schedule. Yeah. Um, so whatever you guys want me to do, I mean. Are you okay with the uh, design and the plat, Rich? I am. Yep. Okay. That's all I needed. We're good. All right. Perfect. Thank you. And then there was something for him to sign too, right? Uh, or no. No. You're, you signed the resolution as attesting to it being a... Uh, Wasn't there something for the... Thank you, Shadow Reed, for the engineer. Yeah, I didn't think there was a signature on the engineer end of it. And I, you still have Jake's signature page. Yep. You can have it. Well, just to keep yeah, it all together. So we're at the point we can just approve resolution. Take a motion to approve resolution 2021.01.18, which is the Worth County uh, Top of Iowa second edition final plan approval. Do we need to read it? Do we need to read it all, Jeff? Or I'm just going to ask. You know, otherwise, I, don't... I 
I don't know that we need to read okay. it. Do you Is normally read your resolution? The resolution is going to be in the paper. Perfect. Then I'll make that motion to accept the resolution. Okay. There's a motion. I will second that motion. Any other discussion? Uh, hearing none, I'll take a roll call vote. Smitty? Aye. Stone? Aye. That motion will pass. That resolution will pass. Awesome. All right. Is that it? Yeah. Did Jackie was going to have me to change the resolution? I assume you printed off. Hold up. Um, yeah, that, that's the one that I gave to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me look again. I... And just that little typo. Well, you, you had emailed it to me. Yeah, but and I printed it too. I don't have a printed version of it. Uh, it was no, on top of the plat. You gave me Jake's. And yep. I gave that one. I gave you the plat. I've got the developer signature. Oh, was it one I put in my you filed away. file? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You filed. I don't know. Yeah, no. All right. Too efficient. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> or an organist. Oh. <laughs> and you get to sign that one too. Oh, yeah. I think there was a bill for twelve hundred and fifty dollars for the uh, abstracting for the abstract that went into the development. I'll be submitting that. I'm assuming it's going to be coming out of whatever account. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there will the last step in the process. Uh, is we've previously approved the CCRs in that uh, agreement with Worth, our Diamond Joe Worth. Uh, I think you're already authorized to sign on behalf of the board. I don't think we need to do anything more. I'm just putting that together for final signatures and probably have it if you're going to be here at some point this week. Let me know and we'll have it here so that you can sign it. Uh, otherwise, we can do it next Monday. Okay. And again, it doesn't need to be on the agenda. It just needs to get recorded uh, at the recorder's office. And I think at least originally there was a place for someone from Diamond Joe to sign it. So okay. um, I'll also get uh, Scott Smith's signature. Uh, at some point this week, so we're good to go on that. And then I, we're we're done. Uh, same way with transferring back lot number twelve. Uh, I'll get the paperwork ready to do that for a signature probably about the same time, uh, and we can return that to uh, Diamond Joe Worth. Uh, because again, it's part of the preliminary agreement we have, there is no, there is no ability for the citizens to remonstrate against okay. the, the deed. I don't think we need to do any further notice or any publication on it. It's. Uh, but if I change my mind, we'll I'll okay. warn Jackie. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so then the next step after that would start be, selling. We have to we have to do a public <laughs> hearing on pricing the lots. Yeah. Correct. Well, we need a public hearing on pricing the lots. You don't. It, 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 once you decide how much you want to sell them for, yes, we need to do a public hearing on the sale of all the lots and naming the price that you're looking at doing them on. At one point, you talked about going a different direction and selling the whole thing. Um, I, don't, I don't, my opinion is not to do that. But okay. It was at first, but after talking with some other people, 
Um, I think it's better. It's going to be more paperwork for us, more public hearings. But yeah, um, if we establish prices reasonable, basically the price is the price, and sure. I think people know that. But just because of the fact that if somebody, a developer came in and buy it and then just jack the prices up high enough where you're not going to sell them, now you're sitting on stuff out there that's not sold. Sure. Um, it's not getting you, developed. You would. Yeah, you they would. Pay tax but, and stuff. You... but as you can see, there's some other yeah. lots out there that have got a pretty high price tag on them that are still sitting empty. Mm -hmm. So my opinion is to try to well, we want to recoup our costs and get them, get them moving. We want to get something out there going. Yeah, well, I want to see buildings go up. I don't want to see somebody have to mow grass just to... You know what I mean? Right. So that's my opinion. But so, anyways, yeah, we'd have to go that route just to offer it for sale uh, through a public hearing. Then. Okay. Right. No, nope, that's fine. Okay. And I think we'll obviously wait on that till we uh, get three in here, so we can do that. So maybe within the next couple of weeks, we'll try to get that done after budget stuff. Maybe first first part of February. So okay. Is that it for the for you then, Jeff? Hey, unless there's a question, I mean that uh, I don't right. generally have a Monday where I'm not doing courts, so oh, good. you can thank Martin Luther King. Yeah, good. Yeah. Right. I appreciate it. I'm really glad well, to have it done. Thanks for putting your time in that, Jeff. It's it is a good thing to have done. So mm -hmm. always a pleasure. Yeah. All right. Uh, go back to department head discussion then. Does anybody have any issues on the COVID-19 policies or anything? I think the only thing was that Jake uh, did send me, a, well, Stephanie sent an email to me last week saying they are no longer requiring appointments. Okay. So I think that's countywide now, so I'll probably take that off the website unless okay. somebody else has a has an I, You guys, like I said, you guys are in the offices every day. We don't. We're not. No. So... Okay. Um, obviously, we just stick with our safety protocol. Is you know we still got our shields up, still wearing masks. Let's we'll stick with that. But if we want to make the appointment, so that's what the consensus is. But the other elected officials, I'm okay. staying out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. Okay. Uh, board appointments. What happened, Jackie? People well, bailed I sent on those you? letters out, and people yeah bailed, bailed. on you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so okay. Arlen Tenold. Um, mm. Well, Arlen's up there. Yeah. So he Thank decided you. it was somebody else's turn, and Sonny's been on there for a long time too, and kind of decided the same thing. He said he'd stay in if you didn't find anybody, but he would rather not do it anymore. So those both have knowledge of ag ground, right? Um, that was, oh, what was that one? It was Zoning. just, yeah, knowledge of. Arlen wasn't on Zoning. No, Arlen's on eminent domain, and that's yeah. just, yeah, he just had to basically have, uh, uh, yeah, knowledge of land values. Yeah, and that was the list he was on. It was the last list. Yeah, he wasn't a realtor or whatever. No, okay. no, so um, I'll just have to find a now, willing person to be on there until eternity is over um okay well i guess we can start looking around for that one the zoning one does that have to come out of that township then it's supposed to that's why jeff was kind of on the border right and he's in danville um i think he's in danville. he's got he's, he's close sunny. not too far from me so i'm pretty yeah. sure he's in danville okay not, yeah, he's below 400, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Three below 390. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think he's on 370. Yep. So we need to try to find somebody from Danville then. Mm -hmm. uh, township, I would assume, to be on that. That's zoning. Yeah. Zoning board. Zoning. Okay. So look at your plat books. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then um, while well, we're speaking on uh, zoning, um, I did talk with Matt. I need to call Jeff this morning. Um, he's Jeff's or Matt's available Tuesday and Thursday afternoons this week or something. He said he can make whatever work. Um, so I'll try to schedule with those guys to meet with them and uh, make our transition there so that uh, Matt will be taking all the all the info that he needs. Um, he said he has been getting about emails and phone calls already on stuff. So. Yeah, because he's hooked into the email. Yep, so. yep. So he was already, already been seeing stuff. And Jeff will have to let me know when he wants to be taken off that 
groupie mill. Okay. But as soon as basically, I think we meet, get the transition made. I mean, we've already approved Matt as being the zoning guy, so we're just going to make the transition. Then off talk with Jeff a little bit on the, the township stuff for the board because let's just see what's, what the, the, the ordinance reads on it. So okay. I can, we can do that when we meet. So I'll be off the Jack. I'll have to get his contact info from me so I can call him. I don't know what I have. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll check after the meeting. That's fine. So, uh, Supervisor Weekly, Mark. Um, I had uh, trans transportation hazmat boards, <clears throat> and I had North Isle Juvenile Detention and Wellness this week too. Which Wellness? We just went over the programs a little bit. Uh, North Isle Juvenile Detention is just their quarterly meetings, and um, actually everything's going pretty well there. We've, with North Iowa and Hazmat Transportation was just going over budgets and things and, and uh, Hazmat is going to go be going on the Essex radio system I think here hopefully they're going to start purchasing them in the next year or so so get up on that to it sounds sure. they just going to be placed into the budget and nice to make it work so okay. that's what I had plus I'm out with dry out there so okay all right I had uh, nine o'clock Monday night um, Myrtle's doing a fantastic job. Uh, the uh, taking job? over for Joe yep. Myrtle Nelson. So um, she's doing a good job there. A good turnout. And uh, the executive board. Uh, there's a few changes in there, but they had to be just because people have been there long enough. Terms are up. But a little rotation happened there, but uh, everything's running pretty smooth there. That it's doing really well. They go after every ounce of funding they can get, grants. I mean, it's it's good to have them around. I mean, all the stuff we ask them to help with, it's they got the knowledge. So, yeah. um, and then I had uh, we had a special for Care Connections in Northern Iowa. Um, the district to the west of us, the region to the west of us, uh, Rolling Hills, I believe. Yeah. We've got to have these access centers. They're supposed to be in place by Jan July 1st. Um, and they have found a facility in Sheldon that um, a, a building for sale that they were looking at possibly purchasing, but they wanted to go in with us um, to offset costs because they cannot afford to operate this on their own. Mm -hmm. So they're hoping to go with us so we could utilize this facility, somewhat of a central location um, but utilize the facility for everybody there because technically it has to be within 120 miles um, maximum distance of anywhere in the region. Okay. We don't make that. Um, we're, I think I was sitting here, it was 150 from here and 140 from Manly. I just typed it in on maps. That doesn't count. Wrapped in and then, you know, the other 15 miles east that we go this way, 10 miles, whatever it is. <coughs> um, so, Talking with some of the others, it's going to put us at these stretched out point of the 120 miles. And obviously, we're past that. You know, the reason, part of the, one of the reasons why we got out of CSS is because everything was getting too far that way for Winnebago and Kasu. You know, they were going to be stretched at that 150 mile range. Yep. And, you know, it's just, it's not good to tell your clients and your, your the patients that need this help that they now have to drive 150 miles to get access. So we're going to meet again next week and discuss whether or not we go that direction. And I personally am not in favor of it because it, it yeah, we, we will have the service available, but we're just driving, we're expecting these people to drive way too far. Sure. So I'm not going to be in favor of it. Um, so I know we were discussing that too, at North Isle Juvenile Detention has brought up with access centers and stuff, mm -hmm. the, and the youth being able to utilize it too. But yeah. that's the same difference of wherever they're at, they're way too far away. Yeah. You know, so. so we're hoping we can, I mean, we know we got to pay for it. We know it's going to come, but we just, we, we need to find a little better location for it to utilize our region because we are kind of spread out. Um, so I, I think we're going to just continue looking at that and, We'll try to get one and get it going by July 1st, but it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen, you know, I guess. Do you have work with the, the, the smaller regional hospitals? And stuff? Well, see, that's what we have right now is a, is a per-use contract in Sioux City, which is way along with way it was. But, but what we would do is if we got in on that, we would probably still have to get a by-use contract with somebody local here, whether if there's the, Mercy. in Mercy and Mason or... 
even Fort Dodge or something. Right. And, if, and there's some other regional. Yeah, regions. we'd still have to enter into a contract. So our county wouldn't really be utilizing what they're paying for. They, I mean, we'd still have to pay it. They'd still have the services, right. you know, but it, it wouldn't necessarily cost us much more because we're only paying as we use it if to let us into that kind of a contract. So it's kind of a, we need to find one that's just better for our region. And if we can grab some other regions to help, yeah. you know, okay. everybody's going to have to work out because there's only, there's only supposed to be six of them in the state of Iowa. We can't grow state lines either. <clears throat> right. We're up in the middle of nowhere. We're so, in so you start putting 150 mile or 120 mile circles in the state. You got plenty of coverage, but you just kind of get them in the right spots. Right. And we just, the only thing we don't like is going to, it would be almost $500,000 a year. And we're just kind of getting it thrown at us. Like we need to have a decision made by February. First then we're not. Nobody that I've talked to on the board, nobody is in favor of making that quick of a decision on that kind of money. So, yeah, so that'll go up longer, anyways. But, so, anyways, um, we'll discuss that more in next week. Yeah, next week at our meeting. So, um, and then, yeah, I did meet with, with Tom out there as well. Um, speaking of which, should we try to call Jacob while we're still here? And uh, discuss that with him. Yep. Should it be Jacob or John? Uh, yeah, call. Well, we got one John's number. John's the main one. John's the main one. Mm -hmm. He's the one I guess I talked to on Thursday. So mm -hmm. he was assumed looking at the maps when we were chatting. So. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 515-460-9699. John Rosengren with Boltman Mink. I cannot take your call right now. If you please. Yes. <laughs> Say this is the Worth County Board of Supervisors. We're looking for John or Jacob this morning. One moment. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> Excuse and me. Taken, right? Yes. 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 Jacob, Mark Smavy, and AJ Stone with Worth County Board of Supervisors. Hello, right, Mark. How are you doing? Not too bad. Hey, are you going to be up at DD18 today? I am not, but Joe is going to be up there today. Joe is going to be up there. Inspector. Yep. Do you want to, um, you want his number? Well, do you know what time he'll be there by any chance? Uh, I don't know. I will. I'll call him as soon as I hang up with you. Okay. Well, what we're calling about is I talked with Jonathan last Thursday about uh, trees on Tom Lyle's property. Mm -hmm. What's what's going on there? Um, so we are going to just clear to the right of way limits, which is about 15, 20 feet on the top of the bank. Okay. Uh, from the top of the bank. And I talked to him Friday. Okay. And explained to him that way. And I said it's just a you know, standard, standard practice. That way we don't have the ability to come in and do um, come in if we need to replace a pipe or if any sloughing, it's really an access way. Okay. There's no pipes in that area, but um, so is that going to be taken out as mature trees there? There will probably be some trees that will be taken out. Joe is going to stake it today. Okay. To see what it looks like, take some pictures of it, and see how many trees are actually going to be affected by it. Okay. Uh, Jacob, when I was talking with um, Tom, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday um, he was 
fine with taking some of the stuff to like the southeast, I would call it. There's kind of some scrub brushy stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. a little bit in there, and there's some volunteer trees coming up. But um, the big concern was more of the uh, mature, mature trees to the like the northwest corner of his property. Mm -hmm. um, do those, do they really have to come out? That might be that 15, 20. I didn't measure it when I was there that day. I should have. So you're 15 to 20 feet from the top of the bank or the center of the ditch? Top of the bank. Top That's of what the we're bank. kind of estimating. He's going to take it 40 feet from the center line. Correct. The ditch. Yep. And um, do they need to be come, come out? I think it's, uh, will they affect much if they're there? Probably not a lot. Uh, it'd be more of a, you know, do you want to make an exception mm -hmm. for right. him? Um, and, and then knowing moving forward, you'll probably have more ditches with trees on them. Well, this is kind of unique. I mean, the situation that acreage was built right almost mm -hmm. on top of, well, pretty close to the actual easement, but not. I mean, it's in the work area, the corner of the house is, but, yes. you know, I don't think. I don't know of any other place in the county. This is a pretty unique situation, right. I think. I, I, you know, I would definitely not be in favor if this was out in the middle of somebody's farm field. It, it wouldn't mm -hmm. happen. Right. Um, but again, I understand what's going on. We got to be conscious of what how this will affect drainage too. Yeah. You know, um, if there was an issue. It, yeah, it looks like I'm just on Google Earth measuring it with a, a ruler. It looks like if you go 20 feet from the top of the bank, it looks like maybe there'll be one row that's affected by it. Uh. Um, but yeah. Joe, I'll have Joe, when Joe's there, um, I'll have him stake it and also take some pictures of it and then he can send them to you guys to see okay. what the photos look like. Okay. To see how much, you know, Do you know what gonna time be he's going to be out row there? Or, yeah. Can you uh, find out what time he's going to be out there and you want to just send me, a, have him send me a text or whatever? We do have the assessment meeting at 11, but. Yeah. I mean, I could mm -hmm. be out there after dinner if he was there. I'd like to talk to him. Yep, yep. I'll give him your number. I'm going to call him as soon as I uh, hang up with you guys. And okay. Then, yep, I can give you a call back. You got my number? Uh, is it the 641 324 30, nope. 30? Nope. You got a pencil? Okay. Yep. 641 590 6609. And like I said, All I can right, meet yeah. him out there after dinner. I'm pretty sure we'll be done with the session by then. So, yep. Yeah, and Joe will still be there. Okay. After, after supper or after lunch. Perfect. I'll track him down. If he sends me a message, let me know where he's at, kind of. Yep. Yeah, we'll do. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jacob. Yep. Yeah, thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. Like I say, it is unique. Not, and I told Tom the same thing. I said, if it was that stuff across the road, I said, we would, we had no choice. We'd have to tear it out, you know, yeah. or across the ditch because it is, it is promoting the problems there. And that's what we're trying to but, avoid. Yep. i so, say that, you know, 40, 50 years ago, they let that go. And that's why we're there now. That's why we're there now. With cottonwood trees that are six and eight foot across. Yep. And they're monsters. Some nice logs out there. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's see what they stake out. Take a look at it. And then either you or I can revisit with Tom or Brittany and and uh, try to get try to come to a consensus on everything so okay all right uh anything else needs to go on the agenda not for next week uh, next week's fall I mean I, don't, <laughs> I know there's some stuff that was going to get, get thrown in there too but yeah we'll uh we'll be here all day next week so nothing better to do yep Okay, otherwise, if not, I'll uh, take a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second that motion. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.